This is just going to be a very quick uh, tutorial, just looking at some of the differences between where the menus are in Substance Painter and the newer versions. Uh, this was just a request by some of my students who couldn't find anything. So just to look through the very, very basics of this. Um, so this isn't a Substance Painter tutorial, just looking at some of the differences. So uh, before, in Substance Painter, we used to have a lot of the menus up here, a lot of the icons up here and the tools up here. These are just all now down this side. Um, so in terms of these, if I just create a um, fill there, for example, we have our brush, a razor, we have our projection and our polygon fill all down this side. Same with the smudge and the clone and the material picker. We also have the Substance Share website, the ability to go into Photoshop and uh, our resources and substance source as well. So these are now down here instead of along here. So that's the first difference in this. Our next difference is our menus over this side. So you could sort of move these menus about and you still can and you can dock them anywhere. Um, but most of the menus are now over to the right hand side in Substance Painter. So the first sort of big one that a lot of my students have been missing is this texture set settings where you go in and you bake your textures. So this is now docked at the side of the layers by default, um, just over here. So that's where that is. Our, so sometimes that comes up by default. Your layers is obviously just next to it, and the layers is exactly it was as it was. Same with the properties. The properties down here. Then we also have tabs now for the alpha control, our stencil, and our materials are within here. So these are all. Um, separate tabs for these things and actually what it's doing is it's not creating a new interface for this it's just jumping down on the scroll window so you can see we're up at the top here this is scrolling down to the alpha scrolling down to the stencil and just scrolling down to the material section down here so these used to be in a separate section at the top uh, we can now access all those from one long scroll so it's just been aware of that the other menus are hidden away down the side so in here we have our display settings. So if you want to change the environment map, uh, we can go in and change that here now. And we have the environmental opacity, the exposure and everything else that we had. Rotation as well. So we still have them in there, they're just hidden away. Same kind of thing with all the shadows and everything else that we have for the display settings. And then we have the camera settings, <coughs> excuse me, and the viewport settings. And again, these are just um, quick anchors to the menus, although it is one long scroll box. So I can close this down. So that's just on there. We can click on this. We have our shader settings. So actually changing the shader itself, if we need to switch between different shaders, um, the parallax occlusion mapping options, and various bits and bobs. We have our history down the side and we also have our log down the side there as well with everything that we've got in there and that to be honest is pretty much that the um, shelves are still at the bottom and we still have all our sections in there exactly the same within this section uh, it was mainly where some of these other menus were so as I said the texture set is that I think the the key one that people couldn't find so just at the side of the layer and then just with the material settings as well being able to get to these uh, with this long list. I'll just be able to click on the individual ones to get to those. And I know a couple of my students couldn't find the polygon fill tool. So this is now over here. And we've got our options for this straight up in the polygon fill. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's just a very, very brief look. Um, just at being able to use Substance Painter and it's, its new design, its new layout.